When I was younger, the dolls that I would play with had fair skin, blue eyes, and blonde hair. Once I was a bit older, I found a doll just like me from American Girl and I was ecstatic. This was the first time I've ever seen a doll look like me. I am a 15 year old Chicana girl that lives in East LA. Growing up, I felt comfortable with who I was. I saw people who looked like me, like my family, and like my friends. I was surrounded by Spanish speaking people, music playing everywhere, Mexican food, and Mexican culture. I felt safe and welcomed, but as I got older, I started to notice how my community and myself have been separated from other communities. In my community, we have had to fight for our rights to be equal to others. I remember that when I was in middle school, all the special needs students were taken to the school at the time, every morning and every afternoon before school started and after school ended, to wait for the school bus to come, as well as to be taken to a classroom during certain days of the school, only to do kindergarten level activity. At the beginning, the school staff wanted to do the same to me, to segregate me the same way. But as a result of my mom not letting them do it, I was taught more about ways to advocate for myself and for my community. Our cultural web has many attributes that describe us as girls, women of color, and having special needs or having a family member with special needs. We need more representation in the media depicting people who are more like us. One time at school, my teacher had asked the class to help her move heavy objects out of the classroom. As everybody was using their hands, she had added, I want help from the boys because they're stronger. I know she did not mean it in a rude way, but it belittled me. It felt as if I wasn't as strong as the boys because I'm a girl. Being a Chicana right now, I still get discriminated against. I get discriminated against a lot through social media. I get called many slurs and I'm heavily stereotyped for being a Mexican-American girl. I've seen many posts on social media that discriminate against Latinos, calling us slurs and telling us to go back to our countries. This affects me by not feeling comfortable and safe in a country that I have grown up in. It's upsetting knowing that there are people that hold hate towards Latinos. I realized that there was a cold and low compassion reality of this community. Indeed, there was a non-empathizing, non-good-mannered community that only negatively judged the special needs community with little respect. Even though I have been socially rejected by my classmates throughout my school life, my mom has always said to me that even though that happens, as a result, my classmates lose the opportunity to know an incredible girl like myself. A girl like me, wants to be seen as a happy, positive, strong, smart, and independent Chicana. Because a girl like me has learned to value myself, learning that I am not the stereotypes that are put on me. I want to educate others on how to respect people who may be different from them. Because being a Chicana and a girl is something that I am proud of and would never change. I want to be seen as someone strong that doesn't depend on people. Confidence radiating from me whenever I'm around people and to be respected. I want to help people that are not able to speak for themselves and spread light on the injustices many marginalized groups face in society. Even though I have a disability, I never felt different or inferior because of this. I feel that I am a very talented woman with a great kind heart. I believe this has empowered me as a woman living with a disability and fighting for my community, which has motivated me to film and edit a video explaining how the media stereotypically portrays people with special needs. We have to break these stereotypes, bring consciousness and sensibilize youth our age to generate inclusion, both in schools and in our community. I want people to respect others no matter race, gender, sexual orientation, religion, etc. We are all people and we all deserve our rights. All of us are beautiful flowers, the fresh air flowing through us. Each individual flower is a different size, shape, and color, but it is still considered or luring, same as us. No matter our skin color, body shape, and personality, we're still dazzling in our own way. I'm not scared to be seen. I make no apologies. This is me.